Excellence is about constantly striving for self-improvement, about playing fair and observing the rules of the game. It is about dedication to raising the bar and setting new standards. India is a diverse country and its higher education system is as diverse as its geography, people and culture. The Indian higher education system is extremely complex, dynamic and heterogeneous. With more than 800 universities and around 45,000 colleges, it is one of the largest education systems in the world. Therefore, the task of evaluating, accrediting and monitoring these institutions becomes a challenging task. During the 90s, there was a rapid proliferation of institutes of higher learning to meet the growing demands of the economy for qualified professionals. However, at this time, quality of education was not given due emphasis. To inspire and create a movement where institutions of higher education would strive for academic excellence, the National Assessment and Accreditation Council came into existence in 1994. What is the genesis of NAC and its major goals? NAC's major job is to set up benchmark for quality measurement in advising the institution for quality, helping them how to govern themselves, helping them how to assess themselves. So the NAC's role therefore is to look at all higher institutions uh, in maintaining quality standards. NAC carried out extensive studies and did a lot of groundwork and promotional activities. After which, about five years later, the council was able to create this environment. NAC, with its headquarters at Bangalore, is an autonomous body of the University Grants Commission of India with the mandate to assess and accredit institutions of higher education in the country. Pondicherry University was the first to undergo the process of accreditation by NAC. In the year 1999, St. Joseph's Evening College, Bangalore, was the first college to be accredited by NAC. Since 1994, the National Assessment and Accreditation Council, NAC, has promoted the concept and process of assessment and accreditation of institutions. Though this process was voluntary until January 2013, so far, 354 universities and 7,977 colleges have been accredited by NAC. Total number of 12,999 accreditations under various cycles. To make quality the defining element of higher education in India, through a combination of self and external quality evaluation, promotion and sustenance initiatives. To arrange for periodic assessment and accreditation of institutions of higher education or units thereof or specific academic programs or projects. To stimulate the academic environment for promotion of quality of teaching, learning and research in higher education institutions. To encourage self-evaluation, accountability, autonomy and innovation in higher education participating in a discussion with stakeholders of higher education for quality evaluation, promotion and to promote the following core values among the HEIs of the country contributing to national development fostering global competencies among students inculcating a value system among students promoting the use of technology quest for excellence. The NAC functions through its general council and executive committee represented by educational administrators, policy makers and senior academicians from a cross-section of the system of higher education. The chairperson of the UGC is the president of the general council of NAC. The chairperson of the executive committee is an eminent academician nominated by the President of the General Council of the NAC. The Director of the NAC is its academic and administrative head and is the Member Secretary of both the General Council and the Executive Committee. To meet its objectives of assessment and accreditation of higher education institutions, 
NAC has developed methodology, prepared manuals and guidelines for various concepts of educational institutions. It has also trained thousands of assessors to do the job of assessment and accreditation. Assessment and accreditation are terms that are broadly used to understand the quality status of an institution in the context of higher education. The accreditation status indicates that the particular HEI, a college, a university or any other recognized unit therein meets the standards of quality as set by the accreditation agency like NAC. Accreditation is beneficial to an institution and all its stakeholders, students, parents, teachers, principals, placement agencies and funding agencies. Accreditation enables an institution to understand its strengths, weaknesses and opportunities through an informed review process, identification of internal areas of planning and resource allocation, collegiality on the campus, funding agencies to look for objective data for performance funding, institutions to initiate innovative and modern methods of pedagogy, institutions to set a new sense of direction and identity, society to seek reliable information on quality of education offered, employers to acquire reliable information on the quality of education offered to the prospective recruits, intra and inter-institutional interactions. NAC's process of assessment is a holistic, systematic, objective, data-based, transparent and shared experience for institutional improvement. The process for assessment and accreditation broadly consists of 1. Online submission of the institutional information for quality assessment IIQA 2. Preparation of self-study report SSR Online submission on NACS portal Data validation and verification DVV by a third party 3. On-site visit by peer team to the institution for validation 4. Announcement of grade by the executive committee of NAC The NAC methodology has always been dynamic and on par with international standards of accreditation and assessment at the same time that NAC came into existence, external quality assurance, EQA processes also took shape in the country. HEIs started experiencing the impact of a new vocabulary and set of processes related to assessment and accreditation. These standards are measured in terms of its performance and are related to the educational processes and outcomes covering the curricular aspects, teaching learning and evaluation, research innovations and extension, infrastructure and learning resources, student support and progression, governance, leadership and management, institutional values and best practices. What has NAC done to meet its major goals and objectives? The primary mandate of NAC is to evaluate the performance of various higher education institutions in different parts of the country based on preset criteria. Secondarily, NAC is inculcating quality culture among various higher education institutions in the country. Learning from its experiences of two decades in assessment and accreditation, taking note of the international trends, and emerging issues in the Indian higher education, NAC has recently launched its revised accreditation framework. This framework is objective, benchmark driven, ICT based and robust. The key features that include this revised accreditation uh, framework is judicious blend of the peer review and the quantitative benchmark driven metrics. We have introduced the uh, key indicators such as the uh, innovation ecosystem, alumni engagement, uh, the value, value education system and most importantly student satisfaction survey has been introduced 
to have an important say for the students in accreditation process. ICT enabled assessment and accreditation process. Our assessment and accreditation process is completely ICT enabled and automated. We have end-to-end -end automated solution from IIQA to accreditation. Automated peer team selection and assignment to reduce subjectivity. Evaluation is data driven which is verified and validated by third party data validation and verification partners. We call it as DVB partners. Timelines are reduced for assessment process by parallelizing and sequencing based on the need. Our DVB student satisfaction survey and improvement is carried out parallelly. We have developed a user-friendly system which is very much helpful for HEI, for DBV and others. NAC, by way of its contemporary and dynamic nature, was instrumental in enabling institutions to adapt to the challenges of internationalization and globalization. Given the nation's ever-expanding and evolving higher education system, NAC realized the importance of internalizing the quality assurance IQA processes in institutions. NAC has evolved a robust multi-pronged strategy to put in place the required concepts, processes and protocols which include NAC sponsored nationwide workshops, seminars and brainstorming sessions to sensitize different stakeholders, academics, administrators, policy makers and students on the importance of quality evaluation. NAC has promoted the concept of internal quality assurance cells IQACs for sustaining and enhancing quality. These cells function as nerve centers of all quality matters within an institution. All accredited institutions are required to establish IQACs and submit an online annual quality assurance report AQAR to NAC with the financial assistance as well as resource persons from NAC IQACs conduct regular seminars at the state level NAC has guided the establishment of state level quality assurance cells SLQAC with relevant procedures and guidelines they serve as an interface between the NAC and the state higher education departments for promoting the assessment and accreditation process. NAC has a publication unit that publishes documents on accreditation, best practices series, case studies, etc. So far, NAC has published over 150 books and monograph manuals on assessment and accreditation. As a founder member of Asia Pacific Quality Network, INQUA HE, Asia Pacific Quality Register and also its close association with Commonwealth of Learning, UNESCO, uh, CHIA, USA and European Commission, NAC has made its mark on global higher education accreditation scenario. NAC has received the APQN award for its initiatives on student participation in quality assurance. In addition to the above, Two initiatives which have contributed substantially to the capacity building of HEI are a team of highly qualified assessors from across the country, approximately 2,500 in number, which includes vice chancellors, directors, deans, fellows of the academy, senior academics from universities, principals, and experts from industry, serve as NAS peer team members. This collegium, through peer team visits, evaluates and disseminates information related to the latest trends in higher education and quality. NAC has formulated an excellent model for institutional accreditation that is a combination of IQA and EQA. UGC has been providing accreditation expenses of recognized colleges until 2009 and we hope it will continue. UGC regulations for NAC to provide financial assistance to IQACs of HEIs fostered and triggered quality assurance activities in many HEIs. HEIs are experiencing the impact of a new set of vocabulary and processes related to assessment and accreditation. 
enabled funding and regulatory agencies to make informed decisions based on NAC assessment outcomes. NAC is beginning to emerge and be taken seriously by institutions. To spread more awareness on quality assurance and to cater to the needs of as many stakeholders as possible, especially in the northern India, NAC has established its office recently in Delhi. With these efforts, it is hoped that institutions will be transformed as learning organizations. By promoting a culture of learning, NAC has facilitated capacity building at the individual, the institution, the state level and at the national level. It is hoped that these measures will enable internalization of quality assurance, quality sustenance and quality enhancement.